Is, 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 is. What's up, guys? J Pro back at it again with another edition of Reflex Bag Workouts. Let's go. So, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Which one do you want first? All right, let's go with the good news first. The good news is today we have a four round advanced combination workout, meaning that it's all punches, everything. We're throwing nothing but punches in today's workout. That means no excruciating squats, no agonizing push ups, and no wobbling, wobbly wall sits. Today it's all punches, everything. So if you woke up and you were like, man, I really want to hit something today. I want to let the hands fly. You came to the right place. Oh, the bad news? The bad news is if you want to get through today's workout, you're going to have to learn and execute a 14 move boxing combination. Yikes. But don't worry. Don't X out. I'm going to walk you through it as always. We're not going to jump right into the combo. We're actually going to build it up over the three rounds and then put it all together in the fourth and final round. And I know you can do it. So stick with me and let's get after it. Starting with a warm up in 10 seconds. All right, you don't need your gloves on yet. If you've been here before, you know that we like to get into a little warm up before we jump into our boxing rounds. So just have your water nearby, sneakers on. And we're going to get right into that. Uh, warm up starting with a jump rope for 30 seconds just 30 seconds if you have a real jump rope go for it the air jump rope works I'd say almost just as well as long as you don't cheat nice and light balls of your feet we're here for 15 seconds oh yeah oh yeah I'm bouncy today. I'm a little extra bouncy today. Speaking of, we're gonna go into that boxer bounce. And I know 14 move combo, it sounds crazy, but when you break it down, we're gonna break it down into three different parts. It's actually not that bad. So stick with me, have fun with it, and enjoy the time off where we're not doing any push ups or dips. We're holding minute long planks. Yeesh. Back to the jump rope for 30 seconds. Want to get that heart rate nice and warm. Hope you're enjoying your weekend so far. Hopefully, you're just going to be feeling like a boss getting through this one. So you'll be able to enjoy your weekend that much more. Okay, next 30 seconds, let's get right into that torso twist, pivoting on the balls of our feet, almost as if we were throwing a hook. Good, 15 seconds here. The weather has been confusing lately in the city, if you're wondering cold and today was a little humid last minute we're gonna go into a little freestyle shadow boxing so you're not hitting your bag yet you're just moving around your space practicing your form a little pro tip for shadow boxing it's always nice to start nice and light I'm not jumping in here throwing as fast and as hard as I can kind of just getting the engine going a little bit practicing my form putting punches together in twos or threes or fours, a little bit of footwork in between. Now, if you're just joining us, we use a punch number system. We've got the one, that's the lead straight. Two is the rear straight. Three is the lead hook. Four is the rear hook. Five is the lead uppercut. Six is the rear uppercut. There is a beginner guide where we go through that a little bit slower and time so go ahead get a sip of water put those gloves on and if you have an extra thinking cap nearby uh, then 
I would throw that on too, because we're going to get into round one, and we're going to learn the first part of this 14 move combo. Okay, so we're about to get into round one in one minute. We should be feeling nice and warm here. And it's been a couple weeks, so hopefully by now you're starting to feel a little bit more comfortable with that reflex bag. Hopefully you've discovered that mind-body flow, that boxing euphoria. It's not a secret anymore. If you haven't discovered it, you already know what I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna say it again. Take your time. Take your time. This tool is built for professional boxers. And if you're just a regular person, well, we're all regular people, but working a day job, trying to get into this, it takes time hitting a moving target. Just have fun with it. Don't be afraid to fail and just go for it. That euphoria, that possessed state of just joy and freedom, it will come. In 10 seconds, we're gonna go ahead and open this round with a flow one, two, so we can approach that bag. And then I'm gonna introduce you to part one of this advanced combo. So let's get right into that flow, one, two. And you go at whatever speed is right for you. So this should be kind of the goal speed here. But early on, there's nothing wrong with doing this. You go at whatever level you're at. As always, don't forget to breathe. We're here for five seconds. Three, two, one. We're gonna transition to a flow, five, six. So let's find that rhythm with those uppercuts. We're hinging the hips here. Upper body nice and relaxed. Nice and loose and relaxed is the secret. I'm not tight. Flexing, I'm not flexing my arms. My arms are nice and relaxed and my lower body is doing the work. Okay, step out for a second. For one minute, we're gonna work part one of our combo. It's probably the easiest part. It's just a one, two, one, two. So for one minute, we're gonna work that one, two, one, two. Whenever it's combination pace, you wanna to try to be as far away from your bag to land the shot. You want full extension on that one, two, one, two. When we're working the flow, we're in close, we're relaxed. When we're outside, it's nice and long. One, two, one, two. Don't forget to breathe with each shot. Seven seconds here. One, two, one, two. And remember, this is part one. Nice. Okay, now we're gonna go into 30 seconds of a power one, power two. Power one, power two. Obviously, there's a lot of different reflex bags out there. So some of them can't take too much power, in which case, just try to have nice long form. Last 30 seconds, just a free flow. Find your own rhythm here, throw whatever you want. Freestyle at that flow pace. So I got a lot of weight on mine. I added a lot of extra weight. Every once in a while, gotta let that thing fly. <laughs> All right, well, I'm already starting to sweat. We're getting our workout on, and we already got part one down. It's not that hard. One, two, one, two, and then in 60 seconds, we're gonna go into round two, work some new stuff, and we're gonna learn part two of this advanced combo. See you there. All right, getting ready for round two. Let's go. We got the dust. We got the rust, not the dust, we got the rust off in round one. Now we're going into round two. It's funny doing these advanced combinations. It makes me think of one of my private training clients, Max. He's only nine years old, but Max is a killer. He, the, the kid is fearless. We've gotten into some advanced combos and teaching him 10 move, 12 move combinations, and he'll, he'll talk trash to me. I'll be like, is that all you got? 12 moves, nothing. We're doing slips, rolls. The kid is like born to be a boxer. 
Shout out to the future fighter. Okay, round one, we did part one. Now we're gonna learn part two of that advanced combo. We're gonna start the round with a flow five, six for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna work just a power three. Then we're gonna go into part two, which is just gonna be a slip lead, slip rear, six, five, six. And then we're gonna go into some other stuff from there. So 30 seconds, we're getting into that flow. Five, six. With those uppercuts. See, even me, you know, sometimes my rhythm will change, which is okay. I think the uppercuts on the reflex bag are tricky because it's not a solid connection, but that's okay. You know, the heavy bag is misleading because the heavy bag makes you think, now we're gonna go to that power three. The heavy bag makes you think that all of your punches are always gonna land clean. Let me tell you something, boxing is not clean, boxing is dirty, boxing is messy. Now we're starting to move a little bit here. 10 seconds. How are you coming along with this reflex bag? Are you able to hit those hooks in rhythm? Because that's tricky. If you need to center your bag, it's okay. There's no rules here. Okay, so now we're gonna go into part two of that combo. What was it? It's a slip lead, slip rear, six, five, six. So let's start nice and slow. Slip, slip, six, five, six. Slip, slip, six, five, six. A little trickier. Slip, slip, six, five, six. All right, we're here for 30 more seconds. A little footwork in between. Ten seconds. Okay. Next 30 seconds, we're going to that power four. So we're just working that four, a little footwork in between. Remember on those hooks, that power is coming from our torso, our lower body. We're pivoting our rear foot. Hitting that four. You want a challenge, try to double up on it. Hish, hish. Hish. Okay, last 30 seconds. We're going to a speed one, two. Now we want to start to, well, my bag is flying. I got to get control again. We want to start to open up the speed a little bit. There it is. So you go at your own pace. But this is where it's, the workout comes in. This is where the shoulders start burning. The bag starts flying. I'm going crazy on my bag today. It's all right. Woo. Four seconds. in time. Oh good, you're still with me. I bet some people probably had to run off, you know? Maybe something came up. I don't know, but if you're still here, nice job. That means you're ready to continue forward and add on to this combo. And uh, we're still gonna work this round. We're gonna challenge the body and the brain. Another beautiful component of boxing, working both of those things together. Not sure anything else does it quite like boxing. We're gonna open round three with a flow one, two for 30 seconds. We're gonna go back to that power three for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna put part one and part two of the combo together. And you remember, it's that one, two, one, two, slip lead, slip rear, six, five, six. Then I'm gonna introduce you to part three. And then we're gonna end with another speed one, two. So if your bag was going wild like mine, you have an opportunity to redeem yourself with that speed going and the control. But first, that flow one, two, nice, relaxed pace for 30 seconds. If you're ever not sure how fast or hard to go on the flow one, two, the idea is that if you had to, you'd be able to do this flow one, two for the entire three minute round. So that should give you a good idea of just kind of how much energy you're putting into this flow. Flow is also probably one of the best things that we can do 
to get the hang of our reflex back. Step out, now we're just gonna work that nice sharp three. Pivoting on that lead foot. If you need to steady your bag in between, nothing wrong with that. That's a real move in boxing where you're using your hand to keep your, your opponent somewhere. But the more advanced practice is to try to hit it in rhythm. Okay, for one minute, we're gonna work part one and part two of our combo. What is it? It's a one, two, one, two. Slip lead, slip rear, six, five, six. Let's put it together. One more time. One, two, one, two, slip, slip, six, five, six. That six is where we put the power, that six at the end. See, if you can slip off of your two, it's probably the best way to find the rhythm here. Okay, one more. Slip, slip. Okay, now we're gonna step back and we're gonna learn the third and final part of this combo. So, part three is gonna be a step back, step in, two, three, two. So the steps are included in that combo. Part three is a step back, step in, two, three, two. So we're gonna work that for the remaining time here. Step back, step in, two, three, two. seconds here. Step back, step in, two, three, two. One more. In. Oof. It's getting tricky now. It's a lot of weird angles and footwork. It's getting tricky even for me. So if you're messing up, that's probably a sign that you're working hard. Okay, take a one minute rest and then we're gonna go into the fourth and final round, and best believe we're gonna put it all together to complete the 14 move combo. Woo, let's go. All right, this is it. This is the fourth and final round. This is the championship round. So let's rally, and as always, let's finish strong. I realized I made a mistake in that last round as I was explaining the third part of our combo, we didn't get to our speed one, two. So I thought, you know, I could re-record that, but you know what? In boxing, things don't always go according to plan. In life, things don't always go according to plan. It's how you respond. It's how you're resilient, how you finish it when things don't go according to plan. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna adapt, and we're gonna open this round with our speed one, two, for the first 30 seconds. Then we're gonna go through each part of our combo, 30 seconds at a time, and for the last minute, we're gonna put it all together doing all 14 moves of the combination on our back. Take a second, find a minute of peace, a minute of zen, and then in three seconds, go right up to that bag, and we're going right into those speed one, two. Microphone flying, affecting my angles, that's all right. Woo, let's go. We're working speed here. 15 more seconds, my microphone is barely hanging on. Five seconds. Is it even on? <laughs> All right, next 30 seconds, we're going to a one, two, one, two. So we're just gonna work part one of our combo. One more. All right, now let's work part two. 
What was it? Slip lead, slip rear, six, five, six. Ish, ish. This is a tricky one. You gotta just find your own rhythm here. Slip, slip, six, five, six. You're doing great. We got 10 seconds left here. Six, five, six. One more. Ish, 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 ish. All right, we're going to that last part. Part three, step back, step in, two, three, two. I think this might be the trickiest one of them all. Ish, ish, ish. Two, three, two is a hard one to put together on the reflex bag. One more. Step back, step in, two, three, two. All right, this is it. Let's go. One minute, let's put it all together. We'll do it together at first. One, two, one, two. Slip, slip, six, five, six. Back, in, two, three, two. One more time together. One, two, one, two. Slip, slip, six, five, six. Step back, step in, two, three. That knockout shot is the two at the end. Now just you. All right, one more, let's do it together. One, two, one, two, slip, slip, six, five, six. Step back, step in, two, three, two. Woo. That was not easy. Job well done. You just got through this 14 move advanced combination on the reflex bag. There are amateur boxers that can't even pull that off. So you should feel really good about what you accomplished today. If you enjoyed the workout, please like it, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any updates and please comment on the workout too and let me know what you thought about it. Maybe you love the workout. Maybe it wasn't your favorite and you have some feedback from me, but whatever your feelings are, you just got through another reflex bag workout. You are doing right by your body, by your mind, by your soul. And for that, you should feel really good for the rest of the day or the night or whatever time you're doing this.